Hello? Testing, testing. Hello? Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. I have Uno Viewer. Damn it. She deserves it. Yet it's not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl and just because he's class president doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Ugh. God. Look at all these losers. She's here. Shh. Mike. Yes, I'm always talking to you. It's Hannah. No, I'm not talking to you. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> You're annoying. What is that hat that she's wearing? Hello, what am I doing? Locked. Where am I going?
Oh, there's something over here. What's this? Wow. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I've got your note. Glad you can make it. It's Grant Ward. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Why is he holding a stick? Anna. Why is he not just holding the camera? Okay, use the right stick to change. Do I wake Josh? Or find Guys. the... Oh! Okay, I already outside. chose, apparently. Probably shouldn't charge straight at three deer like that. It, they Hannah. could actually fuck you Where up. Are you? Dear. Hello? Hello? Ooh, what's that on the ground? What the fuck? What the fuck is that? What the hell was that? Who's setting fire? Hannah. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you 
must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. It's so dumb. Anna, is that it? Yes. And run. From nothing. No, my phone. Fuck, I'm gonna let go. Okay. That might have been the wrong choice. Whoops. Two down. So that was a year ago. Okay. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. You have committed to commands with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through them. Hmm? All right, creepy guy. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. That's all right. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Um, it's not really either of those things. Sure. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? The sunshine. sunshine. <laughs> I see. So which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? Feel depressed, sure. Well, winter nights are cold and dark. This Depression, is feelings of loneliness. Fucking not what I would say, but. This night game takes place is particularly cold and dark. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? Eh. Well, not much of a people's person, are we? Well, 
Well, it seems we'll have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. He's so creepy. Why he's so creepy? <laughs> Fuck up and get everyone. Uh, I don't know if I'll fuck up and get everyone killed. I might do it on purpose. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the, the twins. Washington girls left the safety of oh, their parents' twins? lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. Oh, all it's right. this guy. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still yes, here I together. Yes, I know, Josh is their older brother, them, thank you. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you, and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. I actually meant to drop Hannah, For but the sake I of my sisters, forgot. Uh, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, alright? Yes! <laughs> Larry Fessenden? I love that guy.
You're gonna have to let me know if I miss any of the uh, totems. until dawn haha <laughs> I get it hold on I gotta go adjust the setting da 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 behind by about Someone there? 20 seconds. Seems like a safe place. this written on yo how do I get there again it's written on an email all right I'll climb up bam I'm a parkour master Squirrel. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> Tree looks like a dude standing up there. <laughs> cool. Black is death, red danger, brown loss, yellow guidance, white fortune.
Hello? Oh. Look at all these people in here. How'd you know I was streaming, Jeff, if you can't see that I'm followed? I think the, the, the therapist guy is the bad guy. Peter Stormare. Chris, you here? He's the bad guy. Look, they cut off the face so you can't see it, so you don't know that it's the therapist guy. Don't just leave your bag sitting here, dude. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Oh, it's his phone. You don't check somebody's phone. That's rude as fuck. Chris. Sam. Hey, you made it. Oh, it's Chris. He has a crush on crush on Schlee. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. It's gonna blow your mind. Oh, you're gonna go show me the gun. It's gonna blow my mind, all right. That means I'm gonna get shot in the head one day. Ta -da. Hayden's gonna get shot Rare, in the head. Right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of the ski lodge? Ah, uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? <sighs> you better stop trying to control right. me. Or Here I goes. will shoot the squirrel. God, this guy is dance. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. That close? Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna shoot your squirrel. I am gonna shoot this squirrel so hard. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna sh yeah, okay. Now let's make him look at the poster. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, 
Yeah, she has shitty well, internet, Jeff. I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. A oh, real gentleman. What is this? Hotel and sanatorium. I just realized. Crazy place to set up house. Why the fuck did they just leave a loaded shotgun sitting right next to a cable car? That seems very unsafe. Is that a view of the bathroom? What was that? That's still super unsafe, Finally. even if it was Come a BB in. gun. Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I'm just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Sam seems really weird. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? She seems kind yeah, of. You know, I don't know. Did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> all righty. You know Let's just. Let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So in third grade. To the front, where I was sitting. That's okay, so. pretty early so for a training bra. How old are you in third grade? Josh, that's how we met. I mean, like, I became friends to this day. Nine? If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off the train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Oh, it's Pigtail Girl. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Can I like not? Can I leave them in there? Don't push the button. Fine. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. 
This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge. So, so far, it seems like different choices don't make a uh, difference at all. I'm just going to wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? She's cute. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. He's less cute. No. And where's that bellboy when you need one? I'm going this way with your bags. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye. Okay. Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I'm getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean. What do you think? Ah! Jesus! <laughs> hey, Mike. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. Go out in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? Just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Welcome! Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on. Okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. Okay, this, this isn't it's obvious at all. It's important, Matt, please. <laughs> Fuck that. Em. I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and come with you. Nobody's gonna steal it. Matt, are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't yeah. you just listen to me? Why do you have I do to think that little of you. I say? Sorry, Jesus I'm, Christ, calm I'm down. just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? Um, Matt, just stick your dick in her mouth and get her to shut up. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you up there after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. If 
they have a crush on each other, then it's not really a crush in my... Fucking stupid. Let's look around. Oh, hello. What's this? Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real. Oh my scare you. gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash. Damn. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh. It, Let me check it out. I don't... Nah, it's broken. Yep, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? For real? I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Nah. No, really, Matt, it's not worth straining your eyes. I'm getting kind of a headache just from looking through it, so just no. No. Alright. Uh, sure, if you say so. I will lie to protect my friend. Am I playing her now? No. I'm gonna read a book. She definitely looks like the type that would read a book, right? Oh! Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you, Sarami. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Fucking get that snowball, bitch. I don't know, when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> oh, Bam! Wreck. Hey, you know that? <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chickadee? Who says chickadee? Oh. Hey! Oh, Dodge. What is this music? You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all of your tricks. I'm not gonna throw a snowball at a bird. That's fucked up. Oh shit. Done. Done. I'm about to get raped. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. But not really. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. That doesn't sound dirty at all. <laughs> yeah. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of it, at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Well, then, well. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Snowball in the face. Who's that? Hello, 
again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I'm not anxious. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Yeah, to be honest. I'll just be honest with all of these. Uh, snakes over rats, of course. I wouldn't really say either of these are scary, but if somebody came at me with one of them... I'd much rather somebody come at me with a knife. Snakes or cockroaches? Well, cockroaches aren't scary. They're gross, but they're not scary. Scarecrows or clowns? Scarecrows are scarier than clowns, in my opinion. Gore or crows? I mean... Oh. Why the fuck did you do that? Sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be. Oh god, if he had moths, yeah, there we go. Experience. That's what I'd be picking. Spiders or snakes? I can handle a snake. But spiders are sometimes hard to see, so I'm gonna pick spiders. Needles or gore? Um, gore, I guess. Stop showing him! I don't care about his face. Zombies or scarecrows? Scarecrows. Dogs or gore? I guess gore again. Gore or storms? I like storms, so no. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. Just fucking, do you mind if I punch well, you in the nose? In your Once giant again, fucking time, nose? I promise. We'll talk again very soon. Previously on the game I just played. She deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Hannah. I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with 
each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. Yeah, for, I know how it works, can For the sake of my sister. It's I very obvious. Oh, hello. Somebody's I could have answered family. dishonestly and chosen oh, all the things that back. weren't scary and at all. Next to Josh. That's how we met. Boom. Butterfly effect. I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Look, it's Josh. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you going to install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, you can just refresh the page, and that might put you back up ahead again. Hey, gang. You guys get up here okay? <sighs> Could have done with some bellboys, but, uh, hey. Can't get everything. Yeah, it was pretty easy. A little creepy, though. I mean, it's just really weird being back here. Yo, 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 you get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Eh, worry. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just, I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get, like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Uh, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hey, Ash. Hi, Chris. Confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Confidence is key. Hey, did I miss any uh, hot totems right? so far? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know. And I just want to rip that Parker right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Yeah, I'd do that. Uh, absolutely. When are you gonna take her to the bone zone? Could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude. Look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. Wow, okay, that's a little bit creepy, actually. Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright, I got it. Jeez. So, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver Koshi's or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot, nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. Who took the axe? Actually, use it. 
Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Windows just unlocked. I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I don't, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Gonna go sort something out? All right, you fucking creep. Godspeed, pilgrim. All right, you fucking creep. You're gonna go murder somebody. Damn. Ugh, oh, hey, you're orange now, Kenzie. How did that door just close by it? itself?
Light some of these candles while you're walking around. Fucking guy sounded weird. Hello, are you open? Yeah, okay. They leave the door open to like the garage and the basement, which you can easily get into via a window, but they lock all the doors inside the house. It makes sense, right? It's like, okay, we don't want anybody once they're inside the house getting around, but anybody that wants to get in from outside, that's fine. cinema room, eh? That's pretty cool. And look, another window that's just been open. We should close that window. Yeah, he definitely... I feel like the lighter would be out of fuel by now. I am just taking my time. Exploring every bit.
And this house creaks a lot. barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Oh. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Hey. Hey, man. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness too loud? Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling this homecoming a cow. Chill out. Yeah, come on. Shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch Whoa. it. Whoa! Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. Are you serious? They just you fucking both moldy? just straight up attacked me while I'm trying to calm everybody down. Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, then maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wanna go do that? Any place without that whore. Whoa, god damn! Well, that's over. Yeah. 
So, Josh, uh, can we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Or you left it down there because you fucking are a bitch and I was carrying two bags and you were carrying nothing. You can get very warm. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm going to go take a bath. This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars! Gonna need these. Porn star? I'd pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right, roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay, you wanna invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> Fuck yeah, invite him up with us. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. Mom. You keep that camera handy and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burn. It is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Emily's as dumb as she looks if she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on. Maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Nah, yeah, ease up. Jesus, uh, why's everybody gotta yeah, be fighting? Again, maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Um, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either.
No, I mean, of course not. I'm just saying it's... I guess it's not worth kicking her when she's down. Because I'd much rather spend my time getting down with you. You see, you see what I, I did there? I did that for you. Yeah, okay. But she better stay down is all I'm saying. Huh. I guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Sometime after the prospector. What was she on about? You psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. <laughs> what the fuck are you stuck on? the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they're happy we're all thinking about them. That's a nice way of thinking about it. Oh, damn. I'm romantic as fuck. Look at how romantic I am. I'll do her in the butt romantically. The fuck was that? Did you hear that? I heard something. Yeah. Damn. 
I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Just climb over it. You know what? Fuck it. We're adventurous. We will find another way around. Where are you going? So I wonder what happens if you stay up there. Does he die, like, immediately? Okay, I don't... I didn't see what was supposed to have been seen there either. Stop spoiling things, Kenzie. I don't fucking need sh the hints and stuff.
Josh said have it, and I thought like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? <sighs> Take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speech. Oh, a telescope. Gonna look at the trees. Gonna look at the clouds. Gonna look at the cabin. Um, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Sampling the old eggnog again, babe? It's just us up here. Uh, maybe. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> hmm. Answering, lady. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love for you. <laughs> Scared. Damn, I like Jess a lot. I'm romantic as fuck. But I'm not very honest or curious.
Yes, but which one's the hot chick, Jeff? They're all fucking hot, Jeffrey. Emily's not gross, she's good looking, she's just a bitch. Those things are a joke, man. Don't do shit. No way, bro. 
I mean, we used to do it all the time, me and... Well... Hey Josh, I know hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, you just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um... Okay. Guess so. Brad, you're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I get